Six o'clock. This developing story. She came to Florida with her pro wrestling boyfriend, hoping to make it big. But several months later, Samantha Fiddler went missing. So it has now been five years since this mother of three was last seen in Polk County. As Fox 13's Jennifer Holton reports for us here at 6, FDLE is bringing some new attention to the case, hoping that there's somebody still out there who can help them find her. November 19th marks five years since 29-year-old Samantha Fiddler went missing right here in Florida. Her family and investigators tell me that sharing her story, they hope, can create new leads for a case that has gone cold. The last time April Fiddler spoke with her older sister, Samantha, was over Facebook Messenger. We were just kind of updating each other on each other's lives, and um, by the sounds of it, she was wanting to come back home. The Canadian has been missing since November 19th, 2016, and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement has been working the case. They say the day Fiddler disappeared, she had just bonded out of the Polk County Jail. And when she left that, uh, the Polk County Jail on November 19th, 2016, she has not been seen or heard from since. Fiddler had been wanted on trespassing charges out of Brevard County when she was arrested in Bartow. Investigators say the then 29-year-old came to Florida pursuing a career in entertainment with her pro wrestler boyfriend, Teddy Hart. Investigators say Hart was in Texas at the time of her arrest and said he had not spoken with her in approximately one month. Hart has never been a person of interest in the case. Uh, she was in Florida for about eight months. She moved to Florida in March of 2016. And in those short eight months, she spent seven. She was in seven different counties throughout the state. Very transient. Um, had a big personality. Uh, met a lot of people along her travels. With how much me and my sister communicated, for her not to communicate with me and just stop out of nowhere, it's not good. It doesn't. It's worrisome. It's it's scary. April says anything the public might know could lead to answers. Give us anything. Give us any details, any, you know, any, anything. That's all we're hoping for is some answers. Investigators have never publicly named a person of interest, but they say with her transient nature that clues could be anywhere. Reporting in Tampa, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News. All right, so if you have any information about this, you can contact the FDLE, Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Here's the number, 1-800-226-1140.